Uh, Kostaki, are you there? I'm here. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Uh, morning. Hi, Kostaki. Uh, Kostaki, we have good news and we have bad news. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, right. good news and bad news for me. It doesn't involve anybody else. Yeah, well, the good news is... Uh, uh, chicken- I picked the Falcons last night. You were right-ish. The bad news is it was minus four. <laughs> Final score. How do they know? 23-20, Falcons over the Giants. Yeah. It's amazing. And the Giants garbage score, time. Yeah, and the Giants score in garbage time, yada, yada, yada. They shouldn't allow that. What's garbage time? <laughs> End of the game, it doesn't matter if they score or not. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, well. So, uh, but they did. <laughs> yeah. but now, Kostaki, we need to point out that you are a big NFL fan and a, a big Atlanta fan. Has fan. Eli worn out his welcome in New York City? Kostaki, uh, go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy yes. Yeah, yeah yes. I think so my, too. Yeah. My podcast partner is a big Giants fan. He is so over Eli. Has been for two or three years now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to remember that he was he's he has two Super Bowl rings. Mm-hmm. Sure. I know it is hard to remember right now. But you know, the that that team has some really fun stars to watch. So they'll build around them. They'll be fine eventually. Right. Now, are, are you calling us from uh California? I'm in L.A. I'm just back. Um, yeah, I'm excited about everything in the NFL. The NFL trade deadline is Tuesday, October 30th. And I thought, cool, I'm trading the Falcons for the Rams. That's going to be, <laughs> right. gonna be way, I did, Wait a minute. Hey, I didn't know whole, you could do that. You could do that. <laughs> I'm That's going to be way better. <laughs> are, are you going to be able to go trick-or-treating where you live now? Yes, yes. It's going to be old-fashioned. It's going to be – We haven't. I haven't done it with this kid in a regular neighborhood before. So cool. It's going to – it's yeah. going to be great. You got houses and everything. It's not like doing it in New York City. Houses. Not, I have to say, having New York was very new to me, New York trick or treating. And it is weird, but it's great in its own way. But uh, I'm looking forward to regular old fashioned suburban trick or treating. So instead of when you knock on the door for camp, what do you want? Huh? <laughs> hey, get out of here. <laughs> Why you got to? Yeah. Why? Why? Did, you, did you just go floor to floor in your apartment building? <laughs> you do that. And some and there's streets that are that are sort of marked off and you go to the, you know, these brownstones. It's pretty uh, cool. Yeah. And to me, the weird part about New York trick or treating is most of the stores are trick or treat friendly. So you can go in and out of Dunkin Donuts and the barbershop. And it's. It's very weird. Oh, uh, nice. but it's kind of fun. Yeah. And De, Niro, uh, De Niro's building in Tribeca, they're giving out cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's nice. <laughs> That's great. No, uh, I, know, I know this is a football report. Yes, yes. But because can, of a lung issue, uh, Deshaun Watson did not fly this week, but instead took a 12-hour bus ride to the Jaguars game making him the most successful person in history to take a bus to Jacksonville. Uh, (laughs) By far, yeah. Bus ride to Jacksonville sounds like a sad country song. Um, I can't fly because of my lung. I know, right? You can't can't fly, but you can be hit by the biggest, fastest, strongest guys in the world. It's a crazy line they're drawing. Why why Um, couldn't he fly? Why couldn't he? I was going to ask. Is that some some sort of pulmonary... They he had a lung issue. They were worried about the air pressure. Well, don't they? Uh, is in a pressurized cabin? I don't. That's what I thought too. It's going I, up and down. I, it's no. It, it, that's just like uh, uh, pregnant ladies shouldn't fly because the baby could explode. That's, oh, fall that's away. not true. <laughs> we all know that. It's not. No, Josh, it's, back me up on this. Sure, that's, <laughs> that's absolutely right. The scientific guy in the room. So, Come on. They, they sent him on a bus, not a limo. He was on a bus with two of the trainer guys. I, I assume it was a nice bus. Yeah, it's but, not. You know. like, it, it's, it's like Philip, it's like Philip Rivers' bus. Yeah. He takes from San Diego right. to L.A. Yeah. It's not a bus that we're familiar with. Most people who take the bus to Jacksonville are either fleeing child support payments or emceeing at the comedy <laughs> zone there. That's true. <laughs> Sometimes doing both at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> true enough. God, that'd be a great. That would be a great visual, though, if they had him getting off a greyhound. Sure, it would. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> great commercial for greyhounds. That's the airbrush. Uh, yeah. So Deshaun Watson took a bus, and Blake Bortles couldn't hit the side of a bus. Uh, poor Bortles. <laughs> he might not get a bus ticket out of Jacksonville. They may, they might mail him third class. He's I, he's not doing well right I th- now. I thought I saw last night that uh, Marone or whatever the hell the name is, Maroney whatever. Yeah, you, you fucking bastard! Just, <laughs> no, uh, uh, Bortles is on thin ice now, so that tells me that he, no he, they're, they're going to put him back in. He, he, well, he's, no, no, he said he's on a short leash. That's what he said. That's a that's a good phrase. They, yeah, 
Marone said he benched Bortles to send a message to everyone. So Blake Bortles is like Jesus. He got benched for our sins. Is that? I don't know. It's, it's a weird yeah. concept. <laughs> he it, going forward, he could be on the bench longer than Forrest Gump. This this could be a while. <laughs> <laughs> they might do a new Snickers ad. Not going anywhere for a while. You know. Hey Kostaki, mm, I, I just Snickers. noticed this uh, coming up this Friday. <laughs> you're in Green Bay at the Meyer the Meyer Theater with Greg Hahn, Al who, Jackson. Who the hell's hosting that? Dave Dyer <laughs> and your host Josh Arnold. I'm sorry. What? Yay! <laughs> That's this Friday. You yes. Better, you better make travel. You need to go by bus. Maybe yeah. I. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, not a bad idea. There you go. You better leave uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So a lot of stops between here and Green Bay. <laughs> That'll yes. be a great right. show. Greg Hahn, Al Jackson, Dave Dyer, Josh Arnold coming up at the show. Meyer Theater in Green Bay and Kostaki. With Kostaki, of course, as your star. Thank the you. The Meyer Theater. <laughs> <laughs> not the Myers. Not oh, the not Myers the Myers yeah. Theater. Oh, okay. Mike sorry. Myers. Okay, good. Yeah, very different. <laughs> <laughs> now, Did we, you see the Rams uniforms this week? All head to toe yellow. They, they were. Yeah. They, they had their color rushes. The Chiefs had the color. The I thought the Jets were more of the, the that green instead of I, the Rams were bad with that's all, fine. The Chick, but Kostaki's got a joke about the Rams. I'm sorry, the yellow. <laughs> The Rams' yellow <laughs> uniforms from head to toe were certainly interesting, weren't they? Kostaki, now, now you know what I lived through. <laughs> Every time the refs threw the flag, it looked like they were rooting for the Rams. Whoa! Very yellow. Yeah, totally <laughs> worth it. There were, it was totally worth it. Kostaki, so I enjoyed that joke. Were, there were so many guys wearing yellow tight shirts that Lance Armstrong started doping again to beat them at something. <laughs> the Tour de France gives you a yellow shirt. Yeah. Yeah. That is yeah. not a good look. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, Chick. There were four teams in the full <laughs> color. The The Rams were all yellow. The Ravens were all purple. The Chiefs were all red. And the Jets were all green. It was Big Bird, Barney the Dinosaur, the Hey Kool-Aid Pitcher, and Gumby, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Gumby, damn it. <laughs> you don't get the Gumby comedy like you used. Him. No, you don't. Um, I look like running bananas. <laughs> <laughs> so on the last play, the Bears completed a Hail Mary pass to the one yard line and couldn't get in. That sounds like my senior prom. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it was close, but no cigar. So, but was it a Hail Mary? <laughs> <laughs> a pass down to the one. That's more of a Hail Mary. That's not as good. That's it's more of a oh, Mary yeah. Tyler Moore. You oh, just yeah. throw your hat in the air. Yeah. Hope for the best. Did she catch the hat? I forget. Does I it, I don't remember that. Does it freeze frame? Yeah, maybe it just goes away. But that'd be yeah. A, that's an interesting. That sounds right. Remember the crabby lady in the background with the, the with the scarf on her head and the glasses. Remember her? Yeah, I always remember her. Didn't they track her down? Did they? <laughs> she always reminded me of my mother. Sounds Maybe like, that's why like I remember. Would be a, there'd be an entire documentary <laughs> about these days. Right. <laughs> I was in the background of the opening credits for the Bear Tail Boar Show. Yeah, not for two hours. <laughs> Fascinating. She is. Hey, Kostaki, uh, uh, today's uh, the television talk show host day. I don't know if you're aware of that. I'm not. Do you know why it is? Uh, the, I think the longest tenured host of The Tonight Show uh, would be which guy? It's got to be Carson, right? Uh, Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson's uh, birthday. Uh, Mr. Carson oh, okay. born, what, in uh, 1925? So I thought that was kind of kind of cool. And um, yeah. I, was, I was trying to remember, who was, was it? Steve Allen was The Tonight Show guy, and then Jack Parr, then Johnny Carson? I forget the chronology, but Steve Allen was credited for morphing kind of into what we now think of as a late night show with the man on the street stuff and the goofy, the goofy bits. Like he, he really gets credit for most of that morphing. Okay. Well, I, I have a question for you, Kostaki, that has nothing to do with um, television talk shows, but it's back in the world of football. All right. Um, there have been uh, many fine players of the Jewish faith in the NFL. Can a, Jew true? can a Jewish quarterback <laughs> uh, throw a Hail Mary? <laughs> oh, I, I, Sid Luckman. That's it. That's all I got. I can't think of any, as a matter of fact. Uh, I think Sid Luckman was Jewish. I think he, yeah, no, but I'm, there, at, at present. Of course, there must be a bunch. Uh, Edelman but, right now. Huh? <laughs> Edelman sounds Jewish. Is he Jewish? I Julian so. Edelman? Yeah, Julian, maybe. I yeah. So I don't know. I would I'll buy so. that. Uh, Drew Brees, uh, not Jewish. <laughs> joined the 500 touchdown club 
Uh, elsewhere, a couple on a Greyhound snuck into a bathroom and joined the Eight Feet High Club. <laughs> oh, good for them. <laughs> this is another bus joke. How many bus jokes are you going right. to... Seems like there's no end to them. Breeze threw for 501 touchdowns so far, so far, or as the Lions call that, 100 years. It's a long time. <laughs> Arizona offensive coordinator Mike McCoy was fired a year after Denver fired him from the same job. Custer had a better track record out west. <laughs> see, uh, Custer. Custer. No, Custer. Custer. <laughs> the Arizona promoted Byron <laughs> Leftwich to this job. How perfect is that for the Cardinals offense? They're now led by a guy whose indelible image is limping around in desperation. That's a good match <laughs> oh, with the that's Cardinals. Right. Offense. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. a great image, by the way. Yeah. I, 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 that's an impressive player. Hey, back to my other uh, joke, trying to revive it. Is uh, Josh Rosen. Yes, he's Jewish. From the yes. Cardinals. Josh Rosen is. There we yes. go. So, now, so the question is, can he throw a Hail Mary? But they won't cover that. <laughs> but they won't cover that on Sunday Night Football. <laughs> no. So that'd be, that'd be awkward. That Edelman's no. dad is Jewish. Okay. His mother is not. Okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to get the joke. So oh. The joke would be a Hail Mary. Never mind. I, I get it. <laughs> so it's really a discussion some, of contemporary he's, he's religion. He's not Jewish. <laughs> right? Pardon? Um, depends how, how you define these things. Right, exactly. Right. Yeah, that's right. So you, we define it as a joke with no more humor in it. So <laughs> how you define this. Sorry, uh, do we have any more bus material? I think that a, was a, it. A, uh, a rabbi, a priest. As they said. Well, get onto a bus. <laughs> They're going to, to a the Jaguars game. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. The Bengals got walloped on Sunday Night Football. Poor Andy Dalton. He already looks a little like a human jack-o'-lantern. Now he loses this close to Halloween. Um, <laughs> His hair is amazingly red yeah. it right? is it's nuts right. it's nuts how red his hair is i can't and imagine has, how red it would be in person and it has vertical development right it's a little conan a conan -y. it's mm -hmm. a it's, a little it's gym, cumulonimbus -y. Yeah. jimmy uh, <laughs> jimmy neutron like yeah <laughs> the bengals are black and orange and this year i think they dressed up as a good football team it appears to be a costume <laughs> um, oh, wow <laughs> make it first <laughs> well you know uh, perfect. Sounds like you burp through saying perfect, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah. I'll buy this round. Perfect. <laughs> uh, perfect. And finally, perfect was fined $112,000 this week, uh, for more ugly hits. Does he even know these are fines or does he think they're membership dues? What's happening with this guy? <laughs> There's so many of them. It's, no, he doesn't, it's, it's a lot. It doesn't really <laughs> doesn't seem to be. This, this gym <laughs> punishing him expensive. Doesn't, doesn't really <laughs> care, care. I can't close on that. All right. <laughs> uh, tough ending for the Bears fans with the almost Hail Mary. You know, people in Chicago were so upset. They ordered a third steak. <laughs> 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 they were really a lot of mediators around. Yeah, them. Well, they, they like their a lot of mediators. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, <laughs> Chicago, <laughs> Chicago <laughs> steak. I pick up I on should, that. I thought I Kansas City was the home of the steak. I, I, I should quit while I'm behind. Yeah. <laughs>